this video is going to be short and to the point because there's not much to explain here other than some of the cultural shocks that I had and how things have completely changed right now in Germany. You might know now recently you are able to sometimes get some kind of cash on the money that is lying in your bank account and that used to be never the case. The first time when I moved from India to Germany, the weirdest thing was that I did not understand like how can a bank charge you money for opening a bank account with them because in India it always used to be completely for free. We never had to pay anything at all. So there were no quanto furung skibion. You're not paying five euros, ten euros, twenty euros, whatever per month to your bank in order to keep the account running. The second thing which was really funny was also the dispute sins. That is, in your bank account you're allowed to go into the minus. And that was also another very funny thing because in India that was never the case. Like you are only able to give out the money which is in your bank account. But in Germany, even if you're having your normal bank account, you had some kind of payments to be made, the bank account will go from zero to minus 10, minus 20, minus 50, whatever. And on top of that, you will start paying then interest on top of that. Even if you don't want it to go to minus or something, but you had some kind of payments to be made, you went into minus, you didn't take care of your finances, and that's when the situation happens. And both of these things were really weird. Now, one of these things have changed right now, well, not essentially, like the third thing, which was like not having any interest rate whatsoever. That is when you used to park your money, right? Like whenever you park your money or something, you were able to make some money on it. You were able to get some interest. And that was actually really nice because I was thinking, okay, this is like really not a bad thing because if you're having some money on the side anyways, then fine, you can just park the money somewhere and you can get the interest on top. And this has only changed recently now because you never used to be able to get any kind of interest rate whatsoever. But now if you see on scalable capital on other target scale conto and things like that, you're able to see that they're starting to offer 2.6% um, interest rate. So from 3rd August 2023, it will be 2.6%. And till now, it is 2.3%. So the interest rate that I'm getting, for example, on my money right now here, you can see 20,226 euros, which is lying on the depot. It's just lying there as cash so it is not an invested money so that is the amount which is earning 2.3 percent interest rate and this is really nice because previously like of course you have like um this both sins i don't really think of as anything bad i think like this both sins is fine sometimes there's some kind of like you know payments that you have to make which really were not in your in like were not out of your were not in your control so of course in those kind of scenarios like you can then whatever kind of small interest comes you can pay it afterwards right but like in india we didn't used to have the option at all and paying money to the bank account this is still the same thing so i mean this is something which i'm not so happy about but well um, you cannot do anything about it so this is why when i'm having a lot of money or if i'm having like excess money lying somewhere other than the four five ten thousand euros which lies on my main accounts um, I put the money to places where the IBAN and stuff like that is not public or not visible. That's extremely important because nobody's able to then make any kind of like SEPA charges, things like that to your IBAN account. So here, for example, any kind of like money I have left aside, I can just put inside in a place where I'm getting some kind of Zinsetrag, which is the interest on whatever kind of um, money that is lying. And this used to be like rather like 0% or negative. This is something I've shown you here at the bottom in this graph. Look at this from 2000 onwards, like you, the central European bank said that if you want to lend people money, you can lend it, but it's going to be a little bit expensive. It's going to be around like, you know, 4.5, 4.75%. But then they started reducing it. Money became much cheaper to borrow. And there was nobody who was keeping the money in the bank account because there was no need money was so cheap to come by so there is nobody keeping the money in the bank account also you're not get, getting any kind of interest rate anyways so you're also not really incentivized on keeping the money in the bank account so they are going to kind of encourage you to burn the money on the other hand people who wanted to save the money there were cases that after a specific amount like if you're keeping above a specific um, specific amount in the bank account they would start charging you money. And this is not a very historical thing at all. I remember just in the year 2020, uh, 2022, 
when I was having my um, business account with Wise, the story used to be that like as soon as you're hitting above 70,000 euros, you're paying, I don't know, 4%, 3%. Um, interest and that is the negative interest on the money which is lying on the bank account and this is so ridiculous for me to remember now because there used to be those scenarios when they did 70,000 then they reduced the limit to 30,000 and now they have completely changed now they are giving you cash back for having the money in the bank account I will also make a video about it this is absolutely hilarious because all of this I've seen in my life right now in a very very short time if you think about it like this just started like I came to Germany in 16, 17 world was normal, 18 world was normal, 19 world was normal, towards the end of 19 world become, became really screwed up so 2021 to this on like this has been like an absolutely crazy time and from 2021 I remember like ha having to pay interest and that is negative interest on the money that you're keeping in the bank account and now getting positive interest on the money that you're keeping in the bank account. So they were like really encouraging you to take the money out of the bank account and burn it. And that was not something I was really happy with. So I'm kind of happy with the situation which is right now that like people who are like saving money or having like better financial habits, they are getting incentivized with this. And people who were able to use like very cheap money to do hundred like things and businesses going down, things like that, they are getting de-incentivized. So... Uh, what's the story right now right like how can you also get interest on the money that you have lying on the side so first of all with scalable capital if you already have a depot with them first of all it's completely for free uh, even if you don't want to have the interest rate and stuff and you just want to like you know start investing you can go to the broker page and you can directly see at the plans that there are a few options you have the free broker which does not cost anything at all it's zero euros per month and you pay per trade right but you don't pay when you're using savings plan and things like that. That's very nice. But if you want to have then this interest that you want to return, uh, you want to get up to the cash amount of 100,000 euros without any kind of commissions. So this is the savings plan, things like that. That is anyways included. So up to 100,000 euros, you're able to park the money inside in broker in your scalable capital broker. But the issue is going to be there. You have to then pay for euros 99, right? This is not something that everybody wants to do. This is the reason. There's a simple calculation for that. You can see that 499 per month. This comes to somewhere around 60 euros per year. So when you're having 60 euros per year to get the same interest income of 60 euros per year, how much money needs to be in the bank account, you can easily divide it with 2.3% and you can directly see that, all right, to break even, I have to have 2,608 euros in the prime broker account with this you are able to like cover the costs already of whatever you're paying but all of your trades also become completely for free so you're getting like benefits of having a completely free broker without having to pay for it just by keeping some cash inside second thing is if you have more money right like if you don't have 2608 euros but you already have a few businesses you have a lot of cash lying around you can do the next thing, which is like you can have up to 100,000 euros lying in your scalable capital broker. From this, you will be getting an income of around 2,200 euros. Now, is there better ways to invest this money than just to get like 2.3% interest rate? 100%. But this is going to be, again, that's why I said like this is only for a spec only for specific people this video because not everybody wants to like invest this way. Maybe some people need some kind of liquid cash soon. And they just want to park it in a place where they're getting some kind of interest and not just leave in your normal zero conto because you're not getting any kind of interest there. And also now the question comes about like how secure is this? So this account, this IBAN number in which your money is lying on scalable capital, this is with Bada Bank. And this is again secured under the Einlagesicherung. What is Einlagesicherung? Einlagesicherung is a really interesting thing. And that is if you like every single bank is secured up to 100,000 euros uh, per customer per bank. So if you have like 500,000 euros, it makes sense to divide your money 100,000, 100,000, 100,000 in five banks so that when the bank goes bankrupt, the EU is going to kind of give you your money back. But if you're having 120,000 euros lying in one bank account, 
you're going to have the story that 100,000 euros you're going to get back, the 20,000 euros you will actually be losing. So this is the main story here, right? But anyways, if you're not like putting up, put up to 100,000 euros here and you can have the 2300 20, euros and this is going to be increasing from 3rd August, like I told you, to 2.6%. And that's going to be, again, like super uh, attractive because then if you find some kind of good opportunities, you can directly use the money that you have lying in the IBAN account and you can make some kind of trades with that. I'm not really doing it right now because my focus at the moment is uh, real estate. So I want to try to f get at least the 10th real estate this year itself. That would be very nice because right now I'm stuck at 9. 10 would be a nice number. That's my goal. So I'm just like keeping the liquid cash wherever I can and like just make it, uh, let it get some kind of cash back, whatever. Because even if you're leaving it in other places, you are not really getting that good of an interest rate. So this was pretty much um, the entire video because many people do not know that in Europe, you are now able to get positive interest rate on the money that you have in your bank. Because previously you had to pay money in order to keep money in your bank account which is so stupid but now you're getting money back so this was just a quick information video for them um, if you want to open your broker at scalable capital it's super easy you just have to click on open account put your email address inside and then afterwards you can start another process from your inbox it's super easy that's how i have my own broker with scalable capital since over now three years and super happy with them so far so if you want to start this is a great time and great place to start you can use my referral link given in the description below. And with this, you help the channel without any kind of additional cost to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.